Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and welcome to my channel and today we'll be continuing with our discussion on diagonal scales and this is going to be yet another problem. It's it's a very important problem. Please go through this in a very serious manner and it goes like this. A rectangular plot of land area 0.45 hectare is represented on a map by a single similar rectangle of 5 cm square. Calculate RF of the scale of the map that is a representative fraction. Also draw a scale to read up to single meter from the map. Alright, you guys need to devise a scale that is efficient or good enough to read up to a single meter. Alright, the scale should be long enough to measure up to 500 meters. And guys, you need to remember one more thing that the scale should has, have a maximum capacity to read up to distances of 500 meters. So any distance below 500 meters can be measured easily. Alright. Um, and after finishing the construction of scale, you're gonna uh, mark this distance over here. That is 257 meter on it. Right now, let us kick off with RF calculation. And we have been given a relation that is 0.45 hectare is equal to 0.5 centimeter square. All right. The next thing that we're gonna do is uh, use a formula wherein area relationships can be used. All right. This is the formula which we're gonna use. Square root of area in drawing divide by actual area so this is the drawing area and this one over here is the actual area and on putting the values we have this exactly now numerators unit is centimeter square whereas denominators unit is hectare so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna convert this hectare into centimeter square and for doing so I'm gonna use this first conversion that says one hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square one hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square and putting this value we have this now one meter is equal to 100 centimeter guys remember this in place of this meter over here I'm going to put centimeter so what I need to do is I need to put 100 centimeter in place of this meter and put it inside the bracket and then square it up and it would look should look up uh, something like this <coughs> that's it now 100 square and centimeter square okay on opening this bracket we have this centimeter and centimeter should cancel out and uh, you have to just make this calculation and ultimately uh, this should work out uh, work out as 1 over 3000 all right so rf is a unitless quantity um, the next thing that we're gonna do is calculate the length of our scale okay so here we, we're gonna carry out out the length of scale calculation um, we have this formula RF multiplied by maximum length and as far as RF is concerned we have got its value 1 over 3000 maximum length okay is 500 meters alright now putting those values we have this and now we have ourselves this value of length of scales in meters but unfortunately you need to convert this into centimeters so in place of meter we're gonna write 100 centimeters something like this and then it's simple math alright Please make this calculation. It should work out as 16.6 centimeters. All right, we have ourselves. Um, so we have with us length of scale at is 16.6 centimeter. All right. So let us head over to AutoCAD and where we are going to construct this diagonal scale. Okay. <coughs> so initially, what we're gonna do is we gonna draw a line. This is 16.6. Um, as you guys also know that the height of a diagonal scale is uh, 5 centimeter or 50 meters. Um, that's it. So this is basically going to be the skeleton or the framework of our diagonal scales. All right. This line over here represents 500 meters. Do five parts. Each part is going to represent 100 meter. Again, do 10 parts, then each part will represent 10 meter. Again, do 10 part, then each part will represent 1 meter. So that's the way how you need to go about your task. So the, so the first construction that I'm going to do over here is uh, make this line or divide this line into 5 equal parts. And for doing so, we're going to have to place 5 points over here, spaced 1 centimeter apart at a certain acute angle. All right. 5 points, 1 centimeter apart. That's it. All right. Let's do this. So guys, you can now see that I have placed five points equally spaced. The next thing that I'll do is I'm going to join this fifth point with the end of this line. Okay. Okay. Now you, you guys have to make this drawing on a 
drawing sheet and for doing so you have to make use of a of your ruler scales or your mini drafters what you need to do is you need to put your mini drafters along this line okay then tighten the screw then bring your mini drafter over here you'll find that you are drawing an absolutely parallel line to the line highlighted over here all right keep on doing so keep on drawing these parallel lines and uh, eventually you're going to realize that this line automatically divides into five equal parts and it should look something like this well that's what i was saying okay 500 meters five parts each part representing 100 meters so we're going to put a zero over here at the end of first division 100 200 300 400 i'm going to write meters here i'm going to write rf over here again meters over here also okay and before doing so let us finish this um let's drawing this vertical lines uh, let me copy this all right so let us just write zero hundred and stuff all right uh, and it should look finally look something like this okay guys that's it the next thing that we will be doing is further division now uh, this over here represents a length of 100 meters now if we make 10 parts of it we'll have a division of 10 meters okay we are going to have ourselves 10 divisions over here and each division is going to represent 10 meters so and for that construction what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line over here and we need to put 10 points equally spaced and i would recommend you guys to take a distance of 0.5 me 0.5 centimeter or a half a centimeter all right so let us do this let us place 10 points over here okay guys that's exactly how it should look like 10 points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay let us join this 10th point with this line over here and you need to put your mini drafters along this line tighten the screw bring it to the ninth point then draw a parallel line okay and th from and then to the eighth point draw a parallel line it should intersect this horizontal line somewhere here keep on uh, doing so keep on repeating this process until you have exhausted all the points and even and ultimately you're going to observe that this line has been divided into 10 equal parts with each part representing a distance of 10 meter that's it okay let us do this and it should uh, look something like this well that's it guys that's exactly uh, what i was talking about now uh, guys uh, please remember that this this over here this over here represents a distance of 10 meter now we have to construct or device a scale that can read up to one meter so what we need to do is we need to make 10 more parts so that each part is going to show a distance of one meter all right for that what we're going to do is we're going to divide this line into 10 more parts okay and for doing so we need to put again 10 points uh, preferably half a centimeter apart then keep on drawing these parallel lines and you know the stuff okay so initially what we need to do is we need to put 10 points equally spaced all right and it should look something like this well that's exactly what i was talking about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so the next thing that we'll be doing is joining this tenth point with the end of this line you need to put your mini drafters over here or your roller scales for that matter and uh, make sure you bring it to the ninth point again draw a line parallel to this one then bring it to the eighth point draw a line parallel keep on doing so until you reach here and eventually you're gonna find this line gets divided into 10 equal parts and it should look something like this well guys that's exactly how the, this division will look like okay so i was telling you that uh, this over here represents 10 meter and uh, on, on dividing it into 10 equal parts we have made this division over here uh, you're gonna see a division of one meter each okay so let us accomplish all right this has to be done over and over again and what we're going to do is we're going to copy this uh, you can carry this uh, uh, off with the help of your mini chapters uh, the next thing is joining this first point with this one over here and please guys see this uh, this particular division over here represents 10 meter this over here represents 9 meter 8 meters 7 meters 6 meter and this represents seven, 5 meter 4 um three two one okay so this automatically gets divided into 10 equal parts and each part representing or a multiple of one all right so we're going to copy this 
ओके दैट्स इट द डिविजन इज ऑलमोस्ट डन एंड वी गन राइट ओवर हियर फिफ्टी टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी एंड ओवर हियर वी गन राइट हंड्रेड सो लेट एस डू दिस वन से डबल जीरो एंड दैट्स फिफ्टी अगेन जीरो फाइव एंड टेन ओके and here again we we need to write meters and uh, this scale is almost done with a few final touches uh, the outline of the scale is to be darkened a little uh, and it should look something like this and uh, there was uh, what you call uh, some kind of a measurement which had to be carried out uh, mark a distance of 257 meters on it now guys uh, please look at this carefully from d over here to here we have 200 meters okay this distance from this point to this point over here we have 210 this point to this point we have 220 that means from this point to this point over 20 30 40 50 so this is 250 251 252 253 254 255 256 257 that's it um let us give it uh, some dimensions 250 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this is 257 uh up to this point and uh, let us edit this uh, slightly et and uh, this is 257 meters oh, so that's it guys um with this uh, we come to an end to this tutorial and uh, if you have any doubts or any questions you can put your doubts in comments or your ideas uh, in the comment section below and if you really like the video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel let us meet again uh, with a new problem and with a new set of ideas let's explore engineering drawing thank you for watching bye bye tata